Okay. So now um, we're going to do a similar thing with this one. I'll try and go a little faster through this one because we've uh, got a lot to do today. But the big idea, I'm going to say this is, we're trying to make this less than or equal to zero. So I start by setting my top of the fraction equal to zero, which happens at x equals five. Okay. Then I set the bottom of the fraction equal to zero because that's where it's undefined, where this number doesn't make any sense. And I get x is negative four. Okay. So those are the two places where I can change between this inequality being true and untrue. Okay. So I throw those on a number line negative four and five, and then I plug in some numbers in every chunk of the number line, okay? So to the left of negative four, I could throw in a, I don't know, negative six or negative five something. I'll do negative six. So I'll replace x with negative six in the equation, negative six minus five over negative six, plus four, okay? Negative six minus five is gonna be negative, and negative six plus four, that's gonna be negative two, okay? We get a negative over a negative, that'll be positive, okay? But I wanted this less than or equal to zero, and it was positive over here, so then that would mean we're not true at negative six, okay? We do the same thing for the chunk between negative four and positive five, okay? So I plug in, I don't know, zero is between those two, okay? I would do zero minus five over zero plus four, so in other words, negative five over positive four, that will be negative and we want it to be negative. We want it to be less than or equal to zero. So this inequality is true in between negative four and positive five. Okay. Now, lastly, we wanna check over here, bigger than five, we probably think it won't be true over here, but uh, we can just check and make sure. Let's try six. That seems like a nice thing to put in. So I'll do six minus five over six plus four. Okay, just replacing x with six in the equation. Six minus five is positive one, and six plus four is positive 10. So we get a positive number here. So, and we wanted our numbers to be negative. So the inequality is untrue on the right there, okay? So we figured out our solution. They have to live in this in-between region between negative four and positive five. Now we just need to figure out, is it true at negative four and at positive five? Okay. So if positive five came from the top being zero, and there is an equals to in the inequality, right? So if I plugged in x equals five into this equation, I would get zero over nine, which is just zero, is less than or equal to zero, that's true. So uh, positive five will work in the equation. But when I do negative four, I'm gonna be dividing by zero. And that's a problem, that doesn't make any sense. So it doesn't work at negative four, okay? So our interval is from negative four to positive five is our final answer. 
Oh, sorry. Including, <laughs> trying to make sure you're awake. We're not including negative four, so my parentheses there. And then we are including positive five, so my bracket is on. 